What's up, y'all? Got a film of the feed, so let's get into this tea. We're about to get into Queen Naja completely shocked the internet. Corey responded after Boogie was caught with his ex. Let's get it. Now, previously, we spoke on this whole situation with Boogie being spotted out at his mom's birthday dinner sitting next to his ex-girlfriend. Now, Boogie has since went on to Instagram Live and stated that he's not making any statements and he's not responding to the blog. Responding? It's definitely giving, um, that's not an ex. Well, but here's my thing. Him and Carmen never said that they was in a relationship either. Like, I think they just cooling it. They ain't going steady. No responding to no blogs. Think what that was going on then. Say no more. You win, big bro. <laughs> now, he also released a statement on Facebook. He stated, y'all need to grow up. Y'all date for the wrong reasons, for the image, and want to be seen. Just because who a person is, may we grown as hell. Y'all want to control a person because the love be genuine. If y'all don't work out, keep moving, life goes on. Y'all be so busy sending fake numbers and fake pages about this and that. At the end of the day, what y'all stopping? Who are y'all to speak on somebody else's dealings or personal life? Don't nobody want to hear all that when y'all done talking and being in somebody else's business. Ain't nothing changing. Y'all ain't God, the wizard, and Mepha, the biggest. Now, Queen Nyjah and Clarence are out on a trip to Mexico, and Queen posted some photos on Twitter that literally shook the internet. Academics and a whole bunch of other blog pages posted up Queen's photos, and people in the comment section were stating Queen is definitely serving and her body is tea. No queen. The body was body. And by did repost this on Twitter. Everybody was like, damn, Clarence, I see you. That's Queen's picture. <laughs> Stating, while I got your attention, I'm dropping a new song, 9-6, pre-save now. I mean, the photo reached over 4.7 million people damn. on Twitter alone. Don't y'all miss it. Thing that we like, you know what I mean? We're not gonna like really something, like, you know, let's try it. this one. Maybe next time, like, but we we had to come back here and experience our place one more time. Y'all you know, you, you know where we stand. The real right to know. Now, previously I spoke on Danny being called out for scamming. Now, Danny did respond to all of these allegations. She stated, I got 50K for anyone who can drop proof under this post of me scamming y'all. I'm not talking about you being charged a prep fee. I'm talking about me stealing your tax refund, as y'all say. We're not talking about y'all not reading the policy. We're not talking about when a client disrespect me and I respond. We're talking about really scamming. Drop it under this post because I got time. This is your chance to get 50K bank wire. I stamped that. Let's go and get this set so now we're about to see who's just lying, jealous, and hating. Then she states, associate. If she scammed y'all, send it to my DM. Nation of rich tax professionals will forever be the biggest in the tax industry. Now, if you guys are a bit confused on why people are stating that Danny has been scamming people, here's what Sherelle had to say. Hey, y'all, do not, do not let this bullshit with Corey and Danny distract y'all. From the topic at hand. Y'all remember earlier this year, I was telling y'all how she was stealing all them people tax returns. All them people was in my inbox talking about how she had all these make-believe ass people filing tax returns. And instead of them sending the money where it needed to go, she was dropping them bitches and burn her accounts. How make-believe people, how did make-believe people um, fill out a tax return? When she said that yesterday, do y'all know anything about taxes? Keep that at the forefront of your mind. Don't let no money. Peach cobbler, make y'all forget who the f we dealing with. And before you, I'm talking about you just want to hate on the mother. Like you just want to hate on. No, nah, I got real beef with the bitch been in my city and still ain't tapped my line. You get what I'm saying? Earlier this year, she yes. had a whole squad calling CPS on me. So you can have fake people fill out a tax return. I did to tell the world what the f was doing. 
You hitting old people. You hitting young people. You hitting single mothers out here who came to you, trusted you to file their mom tax return, and then you out here talking about, I deal with mother calling me a scammer all day. If you can't deal with being called no scammer, then you don't need to be in this world. And then go backdoor talking about you don't do this media shit, but you all out here cooped up and cuffed up with mom Bernie Mac Jr. What the is really going on? I'ma just, look, yeah, yeah, yeah. listen to me now. Listen to me. I understand this media shit. She get her attention. You get your bag. But we're not going to forget what the f*** you out here done did to these people. We're not going to forget. And Corey, while we here, I'm going to continuously encourage you to take everything you can from this. Oh, she talking about he ain't asked me for no money. He ain't asked me for no money. Not yet. Corey, keep doing what you're doing. Now, I don't f*** you because of the shit that I heard that you did to Carmen. Now, I don't know if the shit is true or not. And I digress in that area. But because I hate Danny's mother <laughs> with a complete <laughs> shit. I ain't gonna lie, I wish she just get the fade. I wish they just fight. I really wish they just fight. Extreme passion. I'm bad. Yes, it's a PTI and anyone can get anyone can get one for $20 every year. You Damn. to take everything. What from about the F then? F effing. That little motherfucker. Up until she can find it somewhere deep in that little thick ass chin of hers to come fight me. I'm still on your head. And I hope they Cobbler factory, just like they establishment in Memphis. Oh, okay. So Corey has some things to get off his chest on Twitter. He states, I'm finally moving on in life with a Yeah, I have much to say because we literally just reacted today yesterday, but we need eight minutes on this video. New start. I'm leaving the past behind and wishing nothing but the best to the parties I was involved with. I'm focused on getting joint custody of my boys finalizing this divorce and moving forward with respect. I've let the anger that was built up from my situation go with the grace of God. I will no longer live in the past. Today is a new day and every day we have the opportunity to change the narrative. I'm being the bigger person because I want better for my kids. Only God knows the truth to this story. There's no point in continuing to look for understandings from social media. This is I hope he stand on this. Like in real life, I hope he stand on this and uh, leave Carmen alone as far as him, you know, talking bad about her. But I also hope that they figure out this divorce shit and get it over with. Please. It's no way we could continue to go on for years and years still talking about a goddamn divorce. It's real life. Now, of course, this isn't all that Corey had to say. Now, he was on Instagram live and people kept comparing him to Boogie, stating that Boogie is on top. Corey popped off and stated that he has more money than Boogie, that he's been in the game longer, that Boogie is just new to getting money. Now, he also spoke on Sherelle, the young lady that was speaking down on Danny. I'm independent, so I be chilling, man. That's another thing, man. Like, I'm independent, you know what I mean? Like, respect, I just put that shit on Facebook. Like, no disrespect, but stop comparing me to these rappers, bro. I ain't signed to nobody, you feel me? Um, I'm, I'm my own boss, you know what I'm saying? I do what the fuck I want to do when I want to do it. I drop when I want to drop, how I want to drop. Like, I'm a real self-made boss. Like, me and a lot of these rappers, we can't even put us in the same conversation. Like, it's cool. Like, they got what they... Yeah, I'm going to say this. These fucking YouTubers definitely got more money than these rappers, especially DDG. He's at the top of the list. I ain't going to lie. I know y'all hate Clarence, but Clarence richer than a lot of niggas right now. He's just finally kind of... um. I say being he's being humble about it like y'all want everybody to be. Um, but that, that nigga make it, his views on Snapchat stupid. YouTubers is nigga, they up. They got they doing they doing. DDG but been making more money than everybody for a minute. <laughs> think I'm real life him in real Kai, life. He just richer than everybody. Hey, you feel me? I know I got more money than he makes for fact. Sure, bro. No. I really don't like how this, this this woman, man, my girl, bro, it's like this this lame ass female. Like I don't know, like I don't know nothing about it, but it's just like the way she pressing Danny. Like I just don't like that shit, bro. Like hoes be so lame and clout chasing, bro. Like I want to try to fight somebody for like motherfuckers weird. Like you so rich, no rich female want to fight another female. She talking about that broke activity. The feel Get your bag, man. Take care of your life. Take care of your family, bro. Mind your business. Like, yeah, they've been so... swearing. Claire been broke for. 
And not true. Pressed by other people. So, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't I ain't gonna entertain it. I ain't gonna say it. She just weird to me, bro. Like, who is here talking some big boogie on top? I'm gonna block you, now go over there and suck on you. You ain't gonna come out loud, that shit. Ah, uh, yeah, that's how you feel, go over there. Let me tell y'all something. I don't got no smoke with this man at all. I don't care about this dude. That dude nowhere near where I'm at in life. You feel what I'm saying? Like, respect it, bro. Like, I wish them boys the best. Like, we have fun and all that other shit, but in real life, man, I, I'm not pressed by no other niggas, no nothing, bro. You don't know who I am. You got to do your homework and do your homework on me, bro, and know who the fuck I am. Stop comparing me to y'all. I'm cool, bro. You know what I'm saying? Y'all be on that shit too hard, bro. Real shit, nigga. Let them niggas Let talk. Let me get the fuck you know off Twitter. This shit crazy. You don't get no fuck about none of that. 100%. Straight up. I've been doing this shit for too long. These boys are not getting in the game, bro. Let them boys enjoy their fun, man. I be here, I, I had my fun already. You know what I'm saying? Straight up. I'm on a whole other level. Book might not be living in another woman's house, but another woman is living with him. A lot of people been talking about that. I ain't even gonna cap you down. I just, yeah, I have to get into these receipts. Like, ever since we've been talking about all this shit, I've just been reacting to lives. It's a lot of deeper shit going on that we really... <laughs> Really don't know about. But I'm gonna ask y'all this: Did y'all actually think Karma would end up with with Big Boogie? Like seriously? I mean, like in a relationship? Or did we look at Boogie as good rebound meat? Good, good rebound meat. Because I absolutely never thought that that was serious. Yeah, good rebound meat. Because oh. come on, come on, we hard as hell. Just like Maddie, yeah. I wish everybody for the best. I ain't no hate them. They can take in the choke all they want to, but nigga, when you really do your research, you're going to see who really sitting on top. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, it ain't, it ain't about that. All right, y'all. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. I'm done with this video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hey.